A group of 54 students were surveyed and it was found that each of the students surveyed liked at least one of the following three fruit, apples, blueberries, and cranberries. 28 liked apples, 36 liked blueberries, 31 liked cranberries, 8 liked apples and blueberries but not cranberries, 9 liked blueberries and cranberries but not apples, 11 liked all three of the following fruit, apples, blueberries, and cranberries. And we're going to use these to find out some of the we are going to use those facts to answer these questions. How many students liked apples but not blueberries or cranberries? How many students liked cranberries but not blueberries or apples? How many students liked none of the following three fruit? Apples, blueberries, and cranberries. We're going to use a Venn diagram to solve this problem. And let's go ahead and see what it looks like. What I have here is the facts from my question and I have a Venn diagram. A stands for apple, B for blueberry, C for cranberry. You have to understand that these four regions should add up to 28 because 28 people like apples. These four, let me change the color, these four regions should add up to 36 because 36 students like blueberries. These four numbers should add up to 31 because 31 people like cranberries. Now, I'm going to erase all that and go over one more thing that's important. Whenever you have a three set Venn, the three circles, three overlapping circles create eight regions. I mark them with dots. And we have to identify um, what numbers belong to eight of those regions. Uh, no, 28 people like apples doesn't mean 28 should go here. It simply means these four numbers should add up to 28. If the question said 28 people liked only apples, then 28 would go here. So let's go ahead and fill out the table. What I did here is I wrote 28 for apple, 36 for blueberries, and 31 for cranberries, and that just tells me that these four numbers should be 31 these four numbers should add up to 36, these four numbers should add up to 28. And as I said before, these four numbers should add up to 31. So, now what we have to do is work on this. Eight like apples and blueberries but not cranberries. Apples and blueberries but not cranberries. This is where 8 goes. Okay. Now we're going to work on this one. 9 like blueberries and cranberries but not apples. Not blueberries and cranberries but not apples. So 9 goes here. Okay this the next one all 11 liked all three so 11 goes here all right now we can easily subtract 8 11 and 9 from 36 and find the number that should go here and it happens to be 8 8 plus 8 plus 11 plus 9 is 36 now so far so good how do we find these numbers we're done with what was given and we don't have anything else. We do know since all the students surveyed like one of the three fruits so nothing should go here and this should be zero. So that's easy but how do we find out these three spots, the values of these three spots? Let's see if we can work on it. Okay what I'm gonna say here, let me let me erase everything, what I'm gonna argue, I'm gonna call this spot X since these four numbers should add up to 31 you're gonna see if you call this X and 11 plus 9 is 20 that tells me these two numbers should add up to 11. I'm gonna go over it once again. We know that these four numbers should add up to 31 but 11 plus 9 is 20 and 20 and 11 is 31 so that tells me these two numbers must add up to 11 so if this is x this has to be 11 minus x. Arguing in a very similar way these four numbers should add up to 28 
8 plus 11 is 19. So from 28, if you subtract 19, you're going to get 9. We're concluding these two numbers should add up to 9. So if this is x, this has to be 9 minus x. This is where you want to pause and you want to really think about how we came up with that. Now, here's another crucial step. Uh, recall in the question it said there were 54 students who were surveyed and they liked one of the three fruit. So this accounts for 36 of the students. So from 54, this accounts for 50, all 54 students. Okay, let's erase this for one second. Okay, this accounts for 36 students. Okay, and let's take green. And this accounts for 54 students. So from green, if we subtract red, that's 54 minus 36. And that's going to be 54 minus 30 is 24. 24 minus 6, that's going to be 18. So we are concluding that these three numbers should add up to 18. And you Again, another critical step. All these numbers should add up to 54. These add up to 36. If you subtract, you're going to get 18. So these three numbers should add up to 18. And look what we have here. You can cancel x and x. 11 plus 9 is 20, 20 minus x. Now you can easily find the value of x. Let's erase everything. x is 2. Now if x is 2, 11 minus x should be 9, and 9 minus 2 should be 7. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put the value of x right here, which is 2. OK. Of course, this is 0. We're going to write 0 here. Now we're going to answer some of the questions. We're almost done. This is our table, uh, Venn diagram, from our previous slide. This is 0. OK. Let's answer these questions. How many students liked apples but not blueberries or cranberries? Apples but not blueberries or cranberries. That's 7. Okay. How many students like cranberries but not blueberries or apples? They like cranberries but they didn't like the other two. That has to be nine. Okay. How many students like none of the three fruit? And that has to be zero. So let's go over the last part once again. These are my answers, seven, nine, and zero. Seven student liked apples, but not the other two. That's why I put seven here. Nine students liked cranberry, cranberries, but not the other two. So I put nine here. And zero students liked none of the three. So I put zero here. These are my answers. Seven, nine, and zero.